Whenever you see someone with really bloodshot eyes, what are you thinking? They're tired, hungover, computer strain, drug abuse? Well, after struggling with the stigma of bloodshot eyes for more than five years, James decided to do something about it. In my early adolescence, 12, 13, 14 years old, my eyes started to get red on a somewhat frequent basis. Over the years, it got worse and worse, and in just the last six years or so, it's become a constant. It's very difficult for me to uh, go about my daily life with these intense bloodshot eyes. Visibly, you see the bloodshot eyes, but I'm also experiencing a lot of pain. At times, I feel like people think that I may be on drugs, and that's absolutely not the case. I have no idea why I suffer with the intense bloodshot eyes, and it's really where I say to myself, you need to find a way to fix this. What we found with James is that he has a condition of chronic bloodshot eyes or chronic conjunctival blood vessels. I am nervous about the actual procedure. Now that his eyes numb, we're putting in lubrication plugs and this helps with the healing. Very good. Okay, so first step I'm gonna do now is full dry lids for you. I'm actually removing first these two thin strips that are going to mark the zone of the membrane itself. So this is now the membrane that we're going to separate off the surface. Removing the membrane is a, essentially like removing the outside layer of an onion. Are you having any pain at all? Are you pretty comfortable? No pain. The membrane covers the surface of the eye, so it's protective. Let me feel a little heat here for a moment. That's why it's important that the body will regenerate a new membrane, which it always does. James, we're all done with your right eye. So there's a brown pigment spot right here, also a sign of sun damage. It's gonna be gone when we're done today. Okay, so we have this side of the membrane taken care of, and brown spot is gone. James, we're all done. Awesome.